What about conditions-wise, America week to week, that you came across? Well, it's obviously perfect. I mean, you can see the weather in the pictures there um, this week. It's just fantastic conditions. Obviously, why Lee Westwood's gone over there to kind of work on his game and, and try and work on his, his short game. Um, but, you know, I kind of would rather stay home. Well, now we're getting some young Americans like Peter Uline and Brooks Kepka coming across onto the European Tour. And Brooks Kepka made a great point last week because... He said that when you play, he, he never played golf in a rain jacket because yeah. in American tournaments, when it rains, you get thunder and lightning, you're all off the course. In Europe, it rains, well, it rains, you go out there and play in the rain. So, you know, he's, well, we he are sat next to the man, aren't we? He never plays without a waterproof jacket next to the man that knows about <laughs> waterproof jackets. We, we were just saying there, that weather's far too good for me. I can't play in that weather. No. T-shirt, no use. I, I, Galvin I, Green, love it. I wonder if the American Ryder Cup side would have you as an advisor on, on sort of waterproofs that, that would actually work. <laughs> <laughs> Could be useful. Well, I hope Paul McGinley's watching because obviously the Ryder Cup at Glen Eagles is going to be quite chilly and a lot of jackets, so I'm your man. Did you ever play in those, uh, you know, the modern jackets are fantastic, they're light and they're, they're actually not yeah. too cumbersome, but yeah. in the old jackets when you first turned pro, could you play in those? Because I remember Sandy Lyle could, and he, he was ridiculous, he could swing through any sort of, you could put him in a tent, a canvas tent, and he could still hit it. It doesn't seem to bother me, I, I, can, uh, I would honestly rather have my jacket on than not. I think I'm going to be the only person, but I've always been a wee bit odd, as my wife keeps telling me. Does she keep telling you that? Oh, absolutely, every day. Yeah, but, and you, of course you agree with her. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> we know the rules. Every day. Now, we've had, a, we've had a tweet and someone said, please can you get Paul Laurie to explain how he did this at the Seve Trophy. Par five, up the hill with a second shot, ball below your feet, talk us through it. Well, absolute pure luck, as you can imagine, Rob. But my driver, luckily, I've got a... A 12 degree driver bent down to 11, so I've got a lot of loft on there. I mean, 11 degrees is a fair bit of loft, and uh, you just got to make sure that you, you swing smooth. And uh, you, I was trying to just keep my height there and pick the ball off the top. You know, a golf ball's quite a big thing, to be honest, and uh, you just make sure you swing smooth and pick it off the top. So it's like a, for, you know, for a club golfer, it's more of a, you feel like you're sweeping it. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I. You got to make sure that you don't hit it any harder. You got to swing kind of within yourself. And for me, that's a lot of the stuff that I work on anyway. Um, and I had a perfect yardage there. It was like 250 something up the hill with the driver off the deck. So managed to get lucky and hit it on the green.